earlier. We showed you conditions at Seven Springs for skiing and snowboarding this weekend. And now we have a look at some other ways to keep active in the winter months while still staying socially distant. Yeah, Selena Pompiani is live outside our studio with a beginner's guide to snowshoeing and other outdoor activities and to tell us about a cool challenge as well. Selena, can you even practice this with no snow out there? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you can, David and Heather, and it's actually easier because you really can get a good feel for this. I've never had a snowshoe on before, but do, how do you like mine? Check them out. They're pink. I love it. So I am ready to get out there. And you know what? Venture Outdoors is pretty fantastic. You can do activities all year round, but of course they are big advocates of winter outdoor activities. There is so much that you can do. So we have two very special guests with us joining us on Pittsburgh Today Live. We have Valerie Beekner. She is the president and CEO of Venture Outdoors and Lo Zemanak. She is in charge of all of the youth programs at Venture Outdoors. So Valerie, we'll start with with you. This is a big year for you at Venture Outdoors. It absolutely is. Venture Outdoors will be celebrating our 20th year of service here in the southwestern Pennsylvania area and we are so excited to be here. Our whole mission as an organization is to create access for outdoor experiences. We provide the inspiration, the education and the equipment to help get you outdoors safely. So tell me about the challenge, the 2021 challenge. So this year being our 20th year, we wanted to do something really big and fun, especially in a COVID environment when everyone's been spending so much time indoors. We're bringing to you the 2021 in 2021 challenge. We're challenging everyone to get outside and move 2,021 miles throughout 2021 calendar year. You can do anything you want. You can when it's warm enough. You can hike, hike. You can walk your dog. If you can do it outside, it'll count. Just go to our webpage, ventureoutdoors.org, to register. Perfect. Now you look great too. You have some blue snowshoes on. Is what's some of your favorite activities? My all-time favorite activity is trail running. Even oh. in the winter time, it's it's a blast going through the mud, going through the snow, and having a great time. So I really love getting out there and doing trail running. Awesome, Valerie! Thank you so much. And I want to talk to Lo because Lo Zemanak is going to tell us everything we need to know about all of these outdoor activities and really how it's a safe thing to do right now. Yeah. Hey, Lo! Hi, Selena! <laughs> Thank you so much. We love getting outside and that means all four seasons all year long. So some things that we want to make sure we remember when we're going outside, we want to make sure we're wearing lots of layers. This is Pittsburgh. It could be sunny one second, rainy the next, and then super cold after. So bring lots of layers. Make sure you drink and bring plenty of water because you can get dehydrated when you're outside, even when it's cold out. And then, of course, if you're going outside and heading out alone, you want to tell someone and make sure you, you know, you let them know where you're headed. Mm -hmm. This is still COVID environment. So when we go outside, we make sure we're wearing our masks, especially if we're around anybody and we want to remain socially distant. So there's still lots of things you could do, even when it's cold out just like snowshoe. I know it's such a fun activity and it, it's really a great way to get exercise while having out fun. And you know what? We have so many great areas in Pittsburgh, great locations and trails that you really have a lot of options around this area to get out and get moving. Absolutely. Yep. All we need is a little bit of snow and you can wear, wear snowshoes in any of the local city parks, county parks, even head out to the Laurel Highlands. We do snowshoeing, cross country st skiing, hiking, taking your dog mm -hmm. out, just getting outside and getting active because we know that's really important right now. So there are a lot of options, but when you're putting on these snowshoes, like even for me, the nice thing is you don't even have to touch anyone. You don't have to come in contact with them. You provide now a video to show them beforehand. Absolutely. Yeah. So next time it's snowing here in Pittsburgh, we have about 200 pairs of snowshoes. Check out our website. We will be renting them out around various city parks and we'll make sure it's contactless. So we'll provide a video, some printout instructions on how to put them on properly. And once you do it, it's pretty easy. And it's just so fun to just stroll along the park yes. in the snow. And you know, I like the pools too. Yes. Really quickly, I know we don't have a lot of time left. I want to mention how that is helpful sure, for people. Sure, yeah. So 
You don't have to have poles for snowshoeing, but they certainly help for stability. Um, and this pole in particular, you can get, these are called snow baskets, and they help for navigating through the snow as well. So it's just something extra um, if you want to bring them along. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Lo and Valerie from Venture Outdoors. I am ready for it to snow, so we have to go to Ron Smiley, Heather, and David. We need to find out because I have not been paying attention to the forecast today. Is it going to snow soon? We I all hope, hope so. so. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah, get that, outside and try this. That's exactly fun. No, it's such a great idea. It's something totally new to me, and I would stick with the poles. Thank you, Selena. Yeah, for the stability. For the stability. <laughs> yes, I'm not absolutely. trying it without the poles.